developed this course very much to make sure that staff within all, all organisations, whether they're public, private, charitable or voluntary, are able to make sure that there is effective supervision to promote a safe and supportive environment for all of their staff, particularly at a time when cases are extremely complex. So offering the adequate and appropriate advice and guidance, but also solution focused practice so that hopefully for children, for young people, those transitioning to adulthood and, and adults are all being fully supported by competent and able uh, staff who recognise uh, the uh, complexities of some of their uh, circumstances. The aim around the training is very much to uh, allow delegates and encourage delegates to have a much greater knowledge and confidence uh, around the legal framework. Also very much thinking about exploring all of what are the key and relevant uh, topics, sharing experiences and outcomes in a safe and reflective uh, environment. And I think sadly, the recent case involving Lucy Letby, a neonatal nurse convicted of murdering seven infants and attempting to murder seven others. Tragic, but real reminder as to why safeguarding supervision is so important. Uh, very much one of the key recommendations already showing itself is that hospital management must give assurance to both patients and staff that any concerns that are raised are not only listened to, but acted upon and therefore within supervision training, it's very much about uh, arming uh, individuals with that ability to make competent and good uh, referrals. So this course is um, Safeguarding Supervision Skills and it is run for people who are involved in safeguarding. The supervisors, uh, the course is really useful for them. It, it will give them a toolkit to work with in the supervision sessions. And for anybody who is being supervised for the safeguarding uh, in the safeguarding supervision sessions so that the supervisors and supervisees have a common language. So the first two days of the safeguarding supervision skills course um, consist of um, a lot of psychology, a lot of um, tools and techniques used for raising self-awareness so that the individuals on the course can understand themselves better, but also can understand their supervisees better. Um, so it's a shortcut to establishing really good relationships and, and trust so that the supervision sessions are as productive as possible for the supervisor and the supervisee. So um, it's a toolbox that the, super, the, the safeguarding supervisor can dip into and use when um, conducting their supervision sessions. The final uh, two days are in relation to uh, safeguarding supervision uh, training, very much geared up to round, clear definition for safeguarding, exploring, of course, uh, public law, human rights, equality rights, but also importantly, how those link uh, directly to the constitution more in-depth exploration as well of the key legislation around our children, our young people and our uh, adults. Also making sure that organisations and staff and teams recognise not only the responsibility and accountability they have around their staff and their patients and their service users, but also that they are uh, fully aware that liability can also sit at their door uh, if they're not compliant with all of what equals adequate and good safeguarding. So via supervision, it's key that that message uh, goes out. So I feel that the key benefits in the short term, in, in, the, um, in the immediate future, are that the supervisor and supervisees understand each other much better because the course is um, allowing uh, self-awareness for both the supervisor and the supervisee, uh, and they will share a common language, having experienced the, the, the two days of this part of the course. Um, so that they've got a, a, a shortcut to building rapport and building their relationship of, of trust so that they can work more effectively together. And in the longer term, um, the tools and techniques that they will be learning on the course and using throughout the course uh, they can use in all aspects of life 
and in all sorts of other situations uh, where they need to build rapport quickly and build relationships. <laughs>